Hello dear guys, today I will show you how I set up LVOI and it's pretty simple. But first you have to download it at the website and put it in your add-ons folder. And uh, then when you start up the game you get presented with a screen much like this. And you don't actually have to read all of it but I, I recommend you do. But whatever you do don't click skip process. Click continue, set up C-bars, set up chat, choose a color theme. You can see the effect on the background here. I usually go for a dark, but it doesn't really matter what you choose. High resolution. Healer. Continue. Our boss and icons. I like that. And it says here using the healer layout is recommend uh, using the healer layout it is recommended you download the add-on click if you wish to have the click to heal function. I don't use that. But that's the thing to remember. Just click finished. That was super easy, but that's not how I set it up, to be honest. There's a lot of stuff I do, and some of it I will show you here. First off, I will just bring up the party frames so you can get a better idea of it. I have changed the unit frames, but I will show you how they look as a standard thing. They look something like this. Uh, health by value makes it so that when you are at almost full health, you're almost black, like here. When you're taking a bit more damage, you go down to a yellow color. If you are almost dying, it becomes red. And the background is kind of black. Or it just, I mean, it looks really washed out and it does. it's not intuitive for me. So I disable that. I pick a custom health color. Could be any color. I pick a pure black and health backdrop, make that pop like this and then click the custom health backdrop there we go much easier for me to see now now I know that pink is danger like everything else in my life and um, if we go to party frames I have them oriented so they are vertical and to do that you go into the party frames make sure you are in the general tab this is where you can find a lot of settings and you choose the growth direction. I just choose down and then left. So that's how it, how I get the vertical one. So that's already much nicer for me. That's how I like it. And in here you can find a bunch of stuff. But the first thing I do is make it a bit wider. I don't know. I just like that. You don't have to make it higher. You can make it really high. <laughs> you can make it really small. But I just pick a heavy medium. Number of groups, I don't even know what that is. Wow, you can do a lot of stuff. Stuff I don't even know what is. Groups per column. Wow, groups. Oh, this is probably related to the rate frames. But yeah, horizontal spacing, vertical spacing. You can do a lot of stuff. But yeah, let's just restore the defaults. This is how it is by default. It's not bad. I enable heal protection and that's pretty much it to remove uh, not to move it around I click toggle anchors it can be found everywhere in the settings toggle anchors and uh, might as well move the party frames up to the right frames because it won't o overlap with any other stuff so let's just do that well, this looks kinda handy um, you can change the, if you do slash EC and enter the settings again, you can uh, change the colors of the, not colors, you can change the size of the debuffs, which is something you might want to look into. Let's just find it here. Body frames. Debuffs. They are kind of kind of big. You can also make them a lot smaller. I don't know, but that's just the da standard size. You can also go into buffs, enable them, then we'll show what buffs are up, if you need to track that. I recommend that they aren't that big, I would probably make them like this. But you can also choose to attach it to the debuffs, so they're sitting over there, but that's not really handy. You can move them around, you can, let's see something handy here, you can 
if we go back to the general tab, you can do a bit more vertical spacing. Go back to the debuffs, and Let's see if we can find it. Debuffs. Oh, this was the debuffs. We're looking for the buffs. And let's put them down here. And, and you can have them in between if you had had a larger gap. But who knows? You can do all kinds of stuff. You can really arrange this however you would like to have it. So I'll do something like this. Go back to the body frames. Do you know? A bit more vertical spacing. And voila. There you go. You can do all sorts of stuff. I'm pretty sure you can get the portraits in here as well. But I'm not entirely sure how to do that yet. I don't know if it's a missing feature or something, but I usually have it in here, but I don't know. But yeah, that's how you do this yourself. You could have downloaded an add-on for LVUI and it would have done much of this stuff for you. But the only add-on I have for LVUI right now is the uh, add-on skins, which uh, skins uh, SCADA, the DPS meter. So that's kind of handy. But this is just some of the stuff you can do in here. You can also toggle your bars, make them bigger if you want to. You can do pretty much everything. Data text. This is the stuff you see down in below the chat. So on here, here it tells me about the uh, guild in the minimap. Eleven is on. So it says minimap left, and this is where the guild is. I could have chosen to have. Deadly boss mods appear there with something. I don't even know what that is. Call to arms. All kind of weird stuff. Armor. Look at how much armor I have. DPS. Incredible weird stuff. But I usually have it for guild. You can do all kind of stuff. But yeah. I hope this showed you just a bit how you can maybe personalize some of the more important stuff like the, the party frames and that is what is most important to me everything else is just pretty much stuck and I don't care much for it but I cannot heal with the default LVI settings so maybe this was useful to you and um, I hope you learned something I would also like to show you my um, Gladius layer so if you become really OCD and want to really Make sure everything matches up in colors and stuff. You can do something like this. Move the party frames a bit. Not the bait frames, party frames. Move them around a bit. And look, they're almost the same color. And that is super handy you can do that. I, I know you will never see these party frames like that. Well, I might. I don't know. It's just so handy. I like customizing. I hope you will enjoy customizing your LPI settings as well. If there's something you don't understand, please let me know how you would what you would like to give some help with. But yeah, that was pretty much it. You guys take care and uh be safe.